We are queuing for something special. Let's take a look. Alright, somebody is coming out. So we are next. Let's check this out. Okay, what car is this? Hello. Thank you. Alright. Yeah. This is the Omoda C9. Check out the front fascia. This is your luxurious SUV. Okay, a bit confusing with the brand Omoda, but marketed by J. Cook. You get a bit of Volkswagen like sides, a bit of highlight, just like the Volkswagen Tiguan. Very nice uh, wing mirror. You get a very different experience of the rims Comes with uh, Michelin Primacy 24550 and R20. So this paint is matte, matte. So check out the front lights. Wow, LED Premium Vision, LED Premium Vision. Very very unique. Okay, check out the light bar at the front. Very, very strong presence. If you check out the grill, okay, the lower bumper, fairly simple and normal. Right. So this car comes with a NFC uh, access here, just like all the uh, China cars like BYD and the rest. Okay, your door handle that will pop out. And you get uh, gloss, gloss sides at the door, at the window, here all around. And then you get gloss on the wing mirror and on the highlights. Very nice. Okay, let's check out the back. This is how the car looks like. I'm sorry that I do not have much space. Eh? So I'm going to go according to whatever I can. Check out the back lights. Energy matrix light. Check out the lights. Ooh, beautiful. Just take a moment. Take a moment. Yeah. You get very similar silhouette to the Omoda. But this is much more refined, much more luxurious. And check out the lights. Check out the lights, really. You have to come and see this car in person. Okay. At the bottom, you get quad exhaust, quad exhaust, and you get this very nice. I'm not sure if you can see. Let me put it this way. Can you see? There are patterns down here. No diffuser, but there are patterns. And then you get this sleek setting chrome finish, and you get this very big reflector out the side of the car. So a very big uh, car, and check out the spoiler boy, your third brake light, amazing, wow, okay, check it out. So this is the profile of the car, very nice, very big, very refined, so you get a very nice roof rail in uh, satin, and check out the back. Very strong back with very nice lights again and very nice gloss uh, highlights just above the light bar. Oh, check out the boot size. This is 610 liters, eh? 610 liters. Super mega big with your subwoofer at the back, your LED lights, and uh, the carpet is very fine. Check out. <laughs> The spare tire, this is a real full size spare tire, and then you get your jack down there. So, this is the interior of the car, and yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. So, this part reminds me a bit of the Lexus RX. This part reminds me a bit of the Lexus RX, but this is truly out of this world. 
I really cannot take my eyes away from this beautiful uh, Lamborghini type spoiler. Eh? Very nice. Check out the wiper and we're gonna get into the car if we can. <laughs> right, let's check out the back door. Got a very nice back door. Oh, unfortunately, this is very hard material. Eh? They want to market this car as a luxurious car, but this material loses, loses to the zicker, loses to the lift rock. <laughs> but you get ambient lighting here. You get a Mercedes light or Audi light. Um, what do you call that? Stitching here. Very, very nice piano blank with this design over the. And you get a hey, Mercedes light. Uh, seat adjustment. Eh? Let me see if I can move the seat or oh, no. I can only move the seat up and down. No. Oh, only the back. You can only move the back. Yeah. You can only recline. Check out the door handles. This is how you open the door. You press this, and then you get Sony speakers. If I'm not mistaken, 14 speakers around the car, and hard plastic. You get the Omoda door seal, and then this is how the seat looks like. You see curved down and then uh, quite nice fairly nice I think this is gonna be quite comfortable okay uh, very tall guy check out check out his leg room okay let's get inside almost flat with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of hump okay this is the pocket fairly standard pocket you get one. Eh? I'm not sure why. This is the design of Jeku and uh, this Omoda now. One air convent at the back. Sure, the kids will fight. You get Mercedes light buttons for your aircon. You get boss switch over here. And uh, you get aircon vents here. So, still fairly alright. The person can have an option of having this particular aircon to himself. Um, hanger light this is your oh my god handle check out how i sit seat is very comfortable i get about four fingers i can recline let me try eh? let me try if i can recline the seat okay i'm moving up okay this is the most upright position and check out my feet check out my feet one two almost two uh pump very very comfortable and I can recline check out now eh? okay I'm gonna recline the seat now okay I'm gonna get a very comfortable sitting position okay this is a truly spacious uh, back seat is quite long um, almost to my knee almost to my knee and then check out the ambient lighting the light will turn on and off and this is your Cockpit. Check out the front cockpit. Okay, look at the tall guy seated up front and he has about, I think, two or three fingers to the roof. So you get a sunroof and the back part is panoramic all the way until the top of the seat. Okay, let's uh, get out. How do I get out? You press here to exit. Check out the door handle, the button for the door handle. So, let's go to the driver's side. Let's check out the driver's side. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let's wait for the person and we will check out the driver's side. Okay, let me open the door. Door-wise, at the front, you get soft touch material. Mm, almost leather-like. I can't confirm whether this is leather or not. Whether this is PU or leather, I can't confirm, but this is definitely leather. This is definitely leather. And then you get your setting chrome uh, buttons. You get your Mercedes light. You get three memory seats settings. And then you get your front Omoda door seals. Okay, uh, sports pedal and uh, driver's seat, fairly plush and you get inbuilt uh, speakers eh, on your headrest so let's get inside as there are so many people i have to adjust the seat let me try and close the door eh? i close it eh? ok 
Okay, let me try and close the door. You get this as your ambient lighting. This also as your ambient lighting. And check out the steering, flat bottom. Very nice steering, very plush, very, very luxurious feel. And then these are all haptic. Haptic, haptic. You get your ACC and all the rest. Okay, this part, fairly nice. And if I were to push this, oh, this is wood. Plastic looking like wood, gloss black, satin chrome with uh, designs. And then you get this. Very nice buttons. Okay, very nice buttons. And these buttons are very heavy. Just like your Bentley. Eh? Almost, almost plastic. Lah. Plastic, but just like the Bentley. And then you get your Mercedes light uh, start stop or uh, stop yeah and then you get the ambient lighting can you see the red red line flashing flashing here and there and then you get uh, almost wood light with uh, setting chrome uh, lining all the way to the end so this is a 20 over inch 24.6 or 24 inch screen but it's actually made up of two and you get roughly about 14 and uh, 12 i think so look at the display which is going to be very very nice okay you get heads-up display and you get kind of a audio, Sony audio and frameless, rear view mirror, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and check out the uh, rear view mirror on the sunshade, very nice. This part you also have, yeah. So the all-wheel drive comes at uh, 195,000 estimate and the two-wheel drive comes at 185, 10,000 less. So you put your micro SD card and you got your dash cam running for you. So this is the sunroof. So very comfortable. Check out the inside. What do they have inside? You can uh, direct your aircon here. And at the bottom, okay, how do you get out from this car? You press this, you get out. And you can see down here, you have your USB-C. USB-C. So fairly, fairly comfortable seats. Okay, uncle is anxious to get inside the car. He's going to buy one soon. So this car, in terms of stature, in terms of size. Engine high down, eh? Yeah. Okay. You get a battery. Wow, battery and party. Check out the... Okay, so we're gonna check out the car from above. Alright guys, so let's check out the specs for the Omoda C9. The two-wheel drive is gonna be 185,000 uh, and uh, the all-wheel drive is gonna be 195,000. Estimated lah. Uh. And what does it come with? It comes with a 2-litre inline-4 engine, uh, 257 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque, 8-speed auto transmission, eh? 450 wading depth, 165 mm ground clearance, a bit low, uh, loses to the CRV of 220 if I'm not mistaken, and then you get level 2.5 ADAS. Eh? Comes with three colours, you get your matte grey, your khaki white and your carbon black and uh, it has uh, McPherson and multi-link suspension what is most uh, amazing is this car comes with a continuous damping control suspension so almost like almost like um, very very soft suspension uh, but uh, let's let's wait for the test drive and we will be able to tell you whether this car is worth uh, the hype Okay, you get intelligent cabin fuel uh, features. Android Auto, 50 watt wireless charging, in-car air fragrance. Eh? So you can put like Mercedes S-Class, BMW 7 Series, your fragrances. The display is 24.6, oh sorry, 24.6 uh, curved display with uh, 1080p resolution, uh, no 4K. And you get your MFC uh, access card and uh, speaker embedded headrest so this is one of the car where uh, it will rival the crv at this price 
right? 185 and 195, so it will rival the CX-5 and probably the CX-60 or 70 when it comes to Malaysia. Uh, right now, at this price bracket, what other cars do you have? Your Santa Fe, your... Uh, all your other EVs. And given a choice, I think I would pick this car over the EVs. Okay, is this car better than the JQ? Most definitely. This car is uh, has got better finishing, more luxurious feel to the JQ. Eh? The JQ is a bit rough and the JQ is a bit small. This car is more well-rounded at the back. It's got a much uh, stronger presence at the front. So the JQ's failure was the design at the back. Lah. Uh, this, this is a very, very well-packaged design. However, branding-wise, uh, they're still using the brand Omoda, but it's marketed by Jeku. So don't get confused. You hear the Omoda brand, but it's marketed by Jeku. Jeku is actually also belonging to Cherry. Lah. So Cherry is trying to segregate the lower uh, market for Cherry and Omoda, and then the higher market for Jeku. But then they will still use this name, which is Omoda C9. So until I see you again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See ya, bye bye.